It's part of who I am. Uh -huh. And so when you look in the mirror now and the image that looks back at you, do you, are there days when you say, well, I kind of like this or I like no. the hair today? Or, I'm never I think I'm pretty cute myself. today. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm <laughs> pretty cute today. Um, no, I try not to look in the mirror. I really do because mm -hmm. I'm never happy with what I see. So I go on with my work and get it done. I have to ask you this. So many mothers uh, in my audience have said, to please ask you this question. Yeah. Why do you always grab your crotch? <laughs> why do I grab my crotch? Yeah, why? Do, we think you, you know, got a thing with your crotch going I on I think here. it happens subliminally. Mm -hmm. When I dance, if you're a dancer, you know you're just interpreting the sounds and the accompaniment of the music. Uh -huh. If there's a driving bass, you become the bass. If there's a cello, if there's a string, you become that. So you become the emotion of what that sound is. Uh -huh. Okay? So if I'm doing a movement and I go BAM and I grab my... It's the music that compels me to do it. It's not saying I'm getting ready to grab down there and it's not a great place. You don't think about it. It just happens. Sometimes I'll look back at the footage and I'll go, and I'll go, did I do that? Yeah. So I'm slave to the rhythm. Yeah. Okay? Mm hmm I think the alarm's going off in the house. I don't know why. But we're going to fix it in a minute. We're in live television. So we're going to um, go to break. These things happen. We'll be right back. Okay. Are y'all ready for the jam? CD topped the charts, while his latest didn't crack the top ten. What, what has this done to your career? What has it, what has it done to what my career? What has it done to your career? In what way? Uh, how has it impacted you? you know, my album, touring, record my album is number one all over the world. All over the world. America's the only one because I, I don't want to say too much. But it's not number one in the United States. It's conspiracy, yeah. I don't want to say too much. I'm done. 
I don't want to say much because I'm hurting. I'm really hurting. Privacy was key in this room, obviously. Yeah, he left his privacy. When, when the doors were open, you know, it was okay, but when he left, he wanted his privacy. He had his privacy. This is one of the bathrooms. Uh, there are two bathrooms. See, he had his privacy. This is one of the bathrooms. See, he had his privacy. This is one of the bathrooms. See, he had his privacy. This is one of the bathrooms. See, he had his privacy. This is one of the bathrooms. Privacy was key in this room, obviously. Yeah, he left his privacy. When, when the doors were open, you know, it was okay, but when he locked, he wanted his privacy. He had his privacy. This is one of the bathrooms. Uh, there are two bathrooms. Let me just say this. The tradition, the tradition of great performers from, and, and I really want you to hear what I have to say, the tradition of great performers from Sammy Davis Jr. to James Brown to Jackie Wilson to Fred Astaire. Gene Kelly. The story is usually the same though, you know, these guys work really hard at their craft, but the story ends the same. They usually are broken, torn, and usually just sad, and the story is very sad in the end, because the companies take advantage of them. They really do. And um, um, Sony... Sony, be, being uh, you know, being the artist that I am um, at Sony, I, I've, I've generated several billion dollars for Sony, several billion, and um, they, they really thought that my mind is always on music and dancing, and, and, I, and it usually is, but they never thought that this performer myself would outthink them. Yeah! And Tommy Matola is a devil. Clearly, it suited the U.S. government, the Mafia, and in particular, Michael Jeffrey, for Jimmy to be neutralized. But just how did Jimi Hendrix die? All right, now it's been said for, the, for 30 years that Jimi Hendrix choked on his own vomit. It was said that he died of a heroin over, overdose. Of course, none of that's true. He didn't choke to death on his own vomit. Something had to make him sick, right? Now, now, it's known that he took nine Vesperex tablets. These are sleeping pills uh, the night that he died. Now, it's been said that he died from an overdose of barbiturates. The problem is Jimi Hendrix was a chronic insomniac. He was used to barbiturates, and the Vesperex that he, he took really had very little effect on him. He took two tablets. He didn't feel a thing, couldn't go to sleep. He had taken an amphetamine capsule at a party the night before. So the nine Vesperex tablets he, he took really had no connection to his ultimate end. But when he was wheeled into the emergency room, his throat was cleared, and the phys physician wrote that great masses of red wine came gushing out of his stomach and his lungs. Right? So as I reenact the death of Jimi Hendrix, he must have been held down, a gallon of wine poured down his throat until he drowned. There were only 20 milligrams of alcohol in his blood when he was brought to the emergency room, which means there wasn't even enough time for that alcohol to enter his system. So the cause of death was drowning, and it looks to me like it was a forced drowning. That's why I'm laying there, picking the part that great chokes me almost, but I can't let the joke come out. Jimi Hendrix had a packet of 42 Vesperex tablets in his pocket. 
Now, Eric Burden uh, of the Animals has claimed that Jimi Hendrix committed suicide. If that was the intent, it's very likely that he would have taken all the barbiturates in his possession. So it's clear that suicide was not the object. If suicide had been the intent,